It is December 22nd and I am in the pit. I don't think I've done a video down here before. Uh, this morning I installed with one of the solar guys uh, these two uh, solar bat, the lithium iron phosphate batteries. They each weigh about 250 pounds. Uh, let's see what else do I have in here? That's a 60 gallon compressor tank that, uh, that I'm using for air storage down here on this side of the house. The hose that's right here, that is supplying air to the house. The other side of that pipe goes to the workshop as well as this pipe here, which is the irrigation control lines for the Redwood Grove. And up top goes to the generator room. And so this big coil of wire is from the generator that will go to the inverters that uh, is part of the solar, con uh, the solar setup. So I'm gonna pivot around a little bit uh, just to show where we are. This is, sorry, that's my water supply. This, this, I am facing north and I'm just about to get out of here. This is gonna be my irrigation, well, it is my irrigation system. Uh, and that, all this cable that's laying on the ground will ultimately end up up here. Let me get out of this hole. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, let me back up. I was just down there, which is the pit. On the left-hand side, this is my 200 amp panel with a backup. That's my transfer switch, which is above it. And today I also installed with my solar guy, the left and right, what is this called? This is made by Outback and they're called Skyboxes. Each is capable of 5,000 watts. They each have 5,000 watt inverters and they're relatively heavy devices. So in order to hang these, I used some ropes and pulleys, very similar to the way that I put the tree up. So that part's done. So that's what's done today. Those four items have been installed and you run outside here. I'm in the breezeway, in my driveway. And this morning, my concrete crew uh, installed seven yards of concrete. This is where the rail is going. So this has been brushed. That's the streaking that you see. That makes the, the concrete, adhere, the, the mortar that's above adhere better. Uh, the edges are rough here, and that's because once I have the rail bent, I'm going to have to cut back some of that anyway. So it continues all the way to the workshop, and you can see where the rail is waiting to be continued. That, uh, that was done this morning. And finally, the last piece that was done is all of the solar panels have been installed up top, and the racking has been cut back. Yes. The backyard is still a disaster, but we have solar panels. This is the, this is the way they're gonna look from now on. Everything has been trimmed up. Uh, there's the box. You can see way up top. That's where the electricity, they're right, where is my hand? Right here, right there. You can see there's just a little black box that takes all the electricity and sends it let me unzoom. That sends it into the house. So pretty exciting for me. I can walk around the other way, get a better view of phase two and phase three of the of the rail. The rail comes through, continues on this way. And this is what's done now. So tomorrow I'm gonna to be busy laying out rail and bending it. Why? Because if I have to do any grinding, the concrete is softest tomorrow. It's probably only 50 to 60% hard slash cured. And if I have to do any grinding, it'll be a lot easier to do. That's it for today.